Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you how to download and install the Fire TV app on your Android phone. I'm hopefully doing a video also for the Apple phone and tablet. Once I've done that, there'll be a link to it up in the top right hand corner right now. Go see that if you've got an Apple device. But like I say, this is for Android devices. So the Fire TV app allows you to remotely control your Fire TV stick on your phone or tablet. Now it's great if your remote control is broken or you've lost your remote control, etc. So here's how you download it. So just go to the Play Store on your Android phone tap search up the top there okay and then type fire tv so that's fire space tv and then press the search button on the phone and you should see it come up there amazon fire tv and it's got this orange sort of logo there so once you've got it just tap install and this bit might take a little bit of time just be patient with it and uh, it's now downloading and uh, after that, it will start to install and we'll just have a quick run through of the app to let you know what it does and how it operates. OK, so it's downloaded. It's now installing. That took a little while. Again, just be patient with it. There we go. It's now installed. So just tap open. Now, at this point, you must ensure that you're connected to Wi-Fi. And in particular, you're connected to the same Wi-Fi that your Fire TV is connected to. Otherwise, this won't work. So there you go. Mine's just come up there. Chris's Fire TV. So I tap on that. And then what will happen is, there you go, it'll tell us a code. And we have to enter in the code that appears on our screen on our phone or tablet. So there you go. I'm just doing that. And there we go. We can now remotely control our Fire TV stick with our phone we've got obviously all the buttons there we've got the back button the home button we've got the hamburger menu we've got uh, rewind fast forward play pause and we've got the select button there so if i want to go to a certain area i press the select button there and there you go we've also got a keyboard so we can tap keyboard hit up there and we can type in whatever we want up there so say if i was looking for bbc iplayer there you go it's uh, it's found it there. I can press the back button on my phone. There you go. And I can go back to the arrows there. Press the middle button there to select. And there we go. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. It can even use the, uh, the, the voice function on there. I've got a microphone up there as well. I can also tap the settings cog just up there and put the Fire TV stick to sleep or go into Fire TV settings. There you go, that takes us directly to the settings there. And this little button up here shows me all the apps that I've got on the Fire TV stick. And if I want to go into one of them, I can just tap the app there. And there you go, it goes straight into the app that I've selected. So a great little feature to complement your remote control or to replace it if it's lost or broken on your Fire TV stick. Hope this guide helps. Thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.